Okay. Okay, good evening, folks. This is the resumption of the press conference. Uh, we're joined by Kevin Punter and Coach uh, Alexander Sasa Georgievich. Kevin Punter, the MVP of the Basketball Champions League Final Four, uh, also winning your second title. If you could just give us a comment uh, about this whole thing. Feels great. Just want to start by saying that. Feels great. Um, hard for uh, those guys in that locker room. You know, we put a lot of countless hours in the gym. Some uh, really just speechless, man, uh, to be honest with you, just speechless. Um, I was emotional before the game even ended just because I know how hard we all worked to get here. And then to get here and, and really um, win it, it was just special. Okay, do we have any questions for Kevin? Any questions for Kevin Punter? Yeah, Igor Cherkovic from Croatia. Kevin, if you compare the two titles that you won, are there any similarities in it? Um, a little bit, but um, this year was a little, a little different from last year. Last year, I went over to Ike, you know, middle of the season. This year, you know, I was here from August, so, you know, we've been through a lot with each other, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of people in the media doubted us, and uh, we just stuck together. You know, we had a coaching change, so at that point in time, it was just a lot going on. And uh, I know I credit those guys in the locker room for staying together. You know, it wasn't always perfect. And um, like I said, that's why, you know, I was just so emotional because we've been through so much, been through a lot of adversity. And uh, to put it all together at the right time was just big, was just big for us. Okay, any more questions for Kevin Punter? If not, uh, okay, one more right here in the middle. Juan Pedro Belmonte, Somos Basket. Uh, Kevin, how would you describe the relationship that you have with your teammates? Amazing, like I said, we've been here We've been with each other since August. Um, eat together, all in the same hotel. We won together, we lost together. You know, long practices together. You know, we went through adversity together. So, um, you know, you know, we have a bond that's, that's really tough to break. And uh, with Coach Sasha coming, you know, it, it, made it, even, it made it even closer, it made it even tighter. Uh, he made us stick together. You know, and uh, I just want to credit Coach also. So, because he, uh, he, really, he really got in our ass when we needed it. Okay, any more questions? Right here, yeah. First of all, congratulations, man. You. And now you belong you belongs to the same uh, history of uh, the same stage of uh, uh, Danilovic, Sugar Richardson, uh, Ginobili, uh, Rigodeau, uh, Keith Langford, that won European titles for Virtus in the past. What's your feeling about this? Uh, I think that you, you are special Thank now. You. Uh, it just feels great. Uh, this is a historic club. Um, you know, this club wants to win championships. You don't come here, and if your mind is not on winning the championship, it's not the place for you. Um, I was just happy, blessed to, um, you know, help this club receive another European title. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been a while, um, so I know this means a lot for the club. Okay, any more? All right, Kevin, thanks very much. Thank you, thank you. Bravo. Okay, Coach Georgievich. Bravo. Um, good evening to everybody from my side. Um, I'm really proud to, 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 to stay here today with the trophy won with, the, with this club, with this team. Um, thankful to the opportunity, for the opportunity. Thankful to my staff, they work as hard as no one. Thankful to the players, uh, they really make it happen. This was two, I don't know if you can choose the, the perfect game, but you can choose the perfect way of playing those two most important games. And I believe we've, we've really showed that way of playing, how to play to win the trophy. And. Uh, very proud, very happy. This is uh, very important for the city of Bologna, very important for the Virtus Bologna, for the future, for the present also. I believe all of us should really uh, go with a head high and uh, with the pride on our shoulders because, as Kevin said, it was a lot of ups and downs during this season for this club. I came in late. Uh, 
try to put a little piece of myself, my way of coaching, teaching, talking, uh, having the relationships with them, and never let them go. And uh, never let them go. They didn't let me go. And we created this unity that I already talked in the past that is needed for the successes like this. Regarding the game, I believe we completely read the offensive intentions of Tenerife team, as we did in the semi-final. We were ready for everything. We knew exactly where they wanted to hit us. We prepared the team in a really good way. The team responded in a great way. They were very focused. They understood the tasks, and we played it in a, I repeat it, in a right way. And this is something that really is going to put a, a, a big uh, exclamation mark on what I'm saying. We really played it in the right way. Okay, thank you, Coach. Any questions for Coach Djordjevic? Yep. Coach, uh, two games, 80 minutes, uh, always up in the score. So this is, uh, the, as you said, the exclamation point uh, of the a deserved uh, victory of the trophy. How much was important today? Set the tone immediately with that uh, great start uh, on offense uh, because uh, Kevin uh, shoot three triples, but obviously in defense. 50 points, Bamberg, 61, Tenerife was the key. The key was our defense, definitely. And, and, and the players understood since we came in that the defense is going, going to be our focus. And we worked so hard on, on different rules or, or, or system that, that we have and uh, different situations and how we try to resolve. And I believe they, they slowly started to understand the importance of every and each drill that we've put, every and each uh, trap that we might put defensively. And then, as I, I've said it already in the past, with defense you win titles, with offense you win games. And this is how we approached this Final Four. It, is a, it was a, a lot of things happened in this almost two months that I'm in, in Bologna, but it's not yet two months, it's one, one month and 20 days. And uh, I believe Virtus deserves this. Virtus as a club, Virtus as a legendary club of the Europe deserves this trophy because it's, it's so many history on the walls of, the, of, of Paladoza, on the walls of our practice facility, and I believe that, 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 that Virtus can really see a bright future in front of uh, the club right now with this, this, this thing. And this is the most important thing for me because one of the things why I came in and accepted this challenge was to actually challenge the history of the club challenge the, the big names that were playing. You mentioned, uh, Andrea, about, you mentioned all the, the, the big players, but I would add some of the coaches too, since now I'm in this chair. Aca Nikolic, Dan Peterson, Ettore Messina, Bucci, and so on and so on. This is something that is challenging for every person and, and respecting the past, I want to keep on challenge that history and keep on going. Okay, question here. From Courtside Diaries. Coach, Virtus was considered one of the favorites throughout the season. And then he had the tough match up against Nanterre. And now, during this Final Four, completely dominated, as, as the previous person said. Do you think that, do you, did you believe throughout the, the time that you have been with this squad, do you think that this is the actual power of your team? Do you think this is the actual yes, strength? Uh, yes, I believe since I came in, these, these are the... the Last two weeks, I have to say, we had uh, three really good, good games. And uh, unfortunately, the game in Brescia, we lost by, by, by a crazy shot, three-point shot, uh, backboard, in, out, uh, you know, things that happens. I know that. <laughs> so, so, but we were, we were uh, trusting each other and trusting into a system that we, we brought in. And this is what brought us to really this really good presentation of the team. The way we played, it was really exceptional. And every coach should be, you know, I'm, at least I don't want to talk about the others, but I'm really proud on how we looked on the court in every second, every minute on, on, on the floor. And, and this is something that I want to build on the future of the, of the team, of the club. Okay. Are there any more? Yep. Vladimir Spivak from uh, Russia. 
Uh, Sasha, congratulations on this win. It's Thank great you. to have you back as a club coach uh, again. Uh, your acquaintance with uh, BCL was quite short. You're new to the tournament, and actually the tournament is pretty new. What do you make of uh, the, this competition so far? Well, as you said, it, my knowledge of, of all the competitors is not that big since it's new, but I know that it's coming with a great steps. First of all, the venue and the, the, the organization, it, it is amazing. Uh, all this thing, how this looks, it is really to, to give the credit to the people who organized it, to FIBA, and it really looks, looks amazing, so it, it makes you feel, feel special. A lot of people putting a great effort to, to, this, to this cup, and it is very prestigious once you, once you raise it. Uh, I had a president in Barcelona, Signor Alemani, great gentleman, who once told us we didn't play the EuroLeague, but that year we played the Courage Cup. And the, for his first words to the team were, for Barcelona, it's not a prestigious, prestigious cup to play, Courage Cup, but it's very prestigious if you win it. That was the words that I will never forget. And it, it, those words, words mark my path, my career, my believing in once you have a competition, you have a game, you got to play to win. And that's the only thing that I will keep on doing till the rest of my professional life as a coach. Okay. Any more questions? Yeah. Uh, okay. Sasha, excuse me. Uh, dealing about professionally and personally, uh, this trophy, what, what, give, what gives to you? Uh, is it just another title that you, you, you put in your bakik and your, or is something more bakik? In English, bakik. bakik. bakik yeah. <laughs> something more uh, for you. Uh, no, this is this is special. It's a, it's a, it's an international trophy. It's it's, it's very special, uh, and I'm I'm gonna keep on saying and repeating. For me, the next game is the most important one, and the next trophy is going to be the most important one. Right now, it, this is the one. I'm uh, very proud. Feet on the floor. I know it's a hard work in front of us. This is also a, a great obligation to continue going up. So it's a, it's a little bit of. A, of, uh, of uh, auto pressure that I would like to put on my back to keep on continuing playing for the titles. This is the biggest goal. You have to bring your team to the chance to play for the title, to the finals. Then prepare it somehow and let them do it. That's the biggest goal. Okay. Uh, yes, back here. Thanasis from Greece. Coach, congratulations for the win. Thank you. And uh, also, I think that we're all very happy welcoming uh, back again, Virtus Bologna in, uh, as a top-class team. Last year it was Zayek, this year is Virtus Bologna. Two teams with great Historic. legacy, great story, great fan base. And BCL gives the opportunity to those teams to highlight their effort and to be top clubs team again. What this means for the European basketball in general? Well, this is a great question, I believe. You mentioned the uh, Last year's winner, uh, winner uh, Ajak, who has the same uh, history as Virtus, more or less, in the sense of all these historic teams, deserve a, deserve a chance to grow. But also they have to understand as club and as a, as a, as a vision, as a club's policy, where the club wants to be a couple of years from now. What is all the competitions giving to the club and what club can give to the fans, give to the history of basketball again. And this is something that we have to deal inside of our club, inside of our team of people who are managing this group of professionals to understand where we want to be in a couple of years from now or three years. Because all these clubs de uh, deserve to have a great competition. This is a very, very huge competition for the clubs who cannot be in the, let's say, EuroLeague Euroleague uh, because of the various reasons, but no one is permitting you to create a legacy behind you and create a, and construct organization and uh, with the fan base and, and, and a little bit challenging the history, just going into something that is really giving something special to the world of basketball. I believe Virtus, together with Ajax and all the historic uh, teams and all the teams who wants to come to this, this level, they have the obligation to put it on the highest, as the highest stake. We have to put, if we want to reach the 10, we have to put 12. That way we'll reach 10. 
If we put 10, we'll reach 8, and it's not enough. So this is the way I see it, and, and uh, that's why we work every day uh, to, get, to get there, and it's up to, a, as I said, club's policy to see what competition they will decide and when to decide to put a next step, of course, which might be one of the goals. I don't know, but it's, it's something that, that every club needs to, 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 you know, to, to have aspiration to, for, to, to get the greatest competition. It's the same for the national teams. You always want to play for the title, play for the medal, play for a trophy. That's what makes these kids so special and us so blessed to work with the talented kids like, like Kevin and, and, and all the others that we have uh, a luck to, to, to coach. And I'm very appreciative towards them. Okay. I think we've probably had a lot, so we'll let Sasha go and celebrate with his team and friends and family. All right, thanks okay. a lot. Okay, take care. Thanks.